going back really quickly to things, I had pulled up the Amityville Horror House. <laughs> and, um, okay, so now Amityville, big horror movie, um, started in the 70s. And then they've made iterations of this movie all the way through till basically a, a couple a couple of years ago. I think Ryan Reynolds was in like one of the newer yeah. ones. But this was a a real story, but it was basically kind of adapted for Hollywood. Um, but I think this was a real thing. I think this Amityville house is is it? A... Yeah, it is. It's a real thing. You can, it says you can stay in it apparently. Oh, no, thank Like right you. here, you can live in the Amityville Horror House. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> um, and this here, the real Amityville Horror, chilling facts about the crime and haunted house. I actually don't know the whole backstory about this house, but it's going back to stigma. I wonder now if this house would, and I'm going to bet that this house may actually sell for more Arguably at this point. Arguably worth more because, because, of, of, its because of its fame now. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's there's like a point where the stigma hurts the value of the home, yeah. but because it's been like dramatized into this big, like iconic home, yeah. it's probably worth a fortune. I bet it is. Yeah. yeah. Somebody and there's would probably buy some to... weirdo that lives in it because they're, they're into that weird kinky shit. Well, like shit. you just said, somebody could own this or maybe somebody owns this right now and, and could turn into an Airbnb. Just, like oh, what a Airbnb cool, it. what a cool Airbnb. hundred yeah. percent. Right. I'm not going to lie. If, I wouldn't go stay in it, but you can I, go all you want, man. I'm, I, I don't know be, how much I believe, but... I'd be open to do it, but I don't know if I ever could because my wife would never stay at the Amityville Horrors unless I didn't tell her. <laughs> unless I didn't tell her. She, she rolls up and she's like, she's like, this house looks kind of familiar. Yeah. You're like, no, we've never been here before, honey. It's fine. Yeah. It's just fine. It's just a beautiful old home. I, I think that'd be the best thing is to find a super haunted house, but tell nobody that you're going with. Like, let's say you're going to... Niagara on the lake with friends. Google haunted houses, Niagara on the lake, Airbnbs, and like find one. Send everybody there. Don't tell them, and then after tell them and see if they had any weird like. You know that, that would happened. really be the only way to. Yeah. Uh, that would really be the only way to deal with it. I, I won't get into to too many details um, on this, and I don't really know too many details. But um, but one of um, my friends grew up in South Walkerville. And uh, grew up on a, a in an old old house in South Walkerville, and um, their whole family had crazy experiences in this house, and uh, and then eventually when they sort of had all moved out, but they still owned the house and they were renting these houses to tenants. These tenants all had experiences in this house as well, um, without having any prior knowledge mm -hmm. of events that had happened in this home and they don't even like talking about it that's how Whoa. much it like they won't get into details they won't they won't divulge any information about the events that happened to them because they they, they don't like bringing it up they don't like talking about it and to me like i don't know how much i believe one way or the other yeah these you know, ghost stories and these haunted things. But, um, but, but to me, the, the, the most poignant ones are things like that, where they don't, they're not bragging. They're not like, Oh, I saw a, a ghost and you know, I had this experience and this is what happened. And like, isn't that crazy? It's yeah. like, it was traumatizing enough to them at the time that when you ask them about it, they're like, mm, like, I don't even, I just don't want to talk about it. Our office um, is in Walkerville and uh, it was built in 1900 on the dot. Okay. By the way, that's this house that we're sitting in. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. 1900 on the dot. And I had an Airbnb on the second floor for about a year. And one of the gentlemen, and I was just like, okay, buddy, like whatever. <laughs> he wakes up and he said, is this house ever had issues with hauntings or anything like that? And I was like, no, but it was cool to hear. He said, I had a dream um, and woke up from the stream and at the end of my bed was a man dressed in like 1920s oh clothes and he said his name was Frank. And I'm thinking to myself, you're sleeping next to your wife. If you woke up and saw a man at the end of your bed and he said his name was Frank, you wouldn't think he's a ghost. You'd be like, there's a guy named Frank, a guy. In <laughs> Frank in my house. And so anyways, for whatever reason, he felt like this guy's name was Frank and he felt like he knew it was a ghost and I just blew it off and was like, whatever. But then I had another tenant who says, I want to know, ask you, is this house haunted um, 
by any chance does the name Francis ring a bell? What? Yeah. Francis. Which is Frank. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, or close to it. I'm pretty sure I th- like you could the short form of Francis is Frank. So she had some reason to believe that the name Francis had something to do with this home. Whoa. So I tried Googling the address and I couldn't find anything, but this house was built in 1900s. Some guy that slept here claims to have witnessed some guy named Frank standing and walking in around up here. And then some woman brings up the name Francis. So that's weird. Right. Is this all? But is it a coincidence or did they know each other? Are they messing with me? I I don't know. I guess the one thing it always comes down to for me in the end with all these stories is it's always it's always a whisper of a of a hint of something that somebody heard like mm-hmm. do you know what i mean there's mm-hmm. never there, it's never concrete this or like but that's what makes it fun exactly yeah. you know and that's that's what and I'm always kind of keeps it upstairs we had photos of guys dressed in like 1920s clothes yeah prohibition era sure so and that gets so into he your probably dreams. went to sleep and dreamt something and thought he saw something but I swear to God, one day if I'm renovating this house and I tear down a wall and there's like something about Frank or Francis, <laughs> I'm a true believer for the rest of my life. 100%. Like-